yes, follow your passion because without passion, you won't be able to deliver, you won't be able to do well in your work. Hey guys, it's my turn to ask Marvin what he thinks about the market, about trading, and how to start your business from scratch. So enjoy the rest of the video guys. I, I got grilled super. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna flip everything because on the first three videos, I was asking Tina on her expertise, how she started and founded, co-founded Baltasar, and her tips on how you can become a good entrepreneur. Now, we're gonna switch everything. She's gonna ask me questions. Uh, no holds barred. You can ask me whatever you want. Oh, that's true. But I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, let's do okay, this. Let's do mm. this. So, Marvin, mm. how did you start in everything you're doing now? Were you like this to begin with, what you're doing? There was a point in time that my family lost everything. My dad lost all the money from business. So, what I did was, sabi ko, what happened to him should not happen to me. That's why I said to myself, when I, when I graduate, I'm gonna work hard, but not just work hard. As, as I started working, I realized that I won't be an employee forever because uh, one of the things that I saw, I saw it from people who were older than me in the office. I mm -hmm. if I get promoted every year to this level, the salary is not what I, I, want, I wanted. So two weeks, I realized I, I need to start my own business. I need to be an entrepreneur. So when I did that, I did several businesses. Uh, not to earn money, my goal was to earn, but to, le but to learn what I wanted to do and what I wanted to scale. And not just what I wanted to scale, I wanted to find something that uh, I don't mean, something that I really wanted to do also. So, as I started doing those businesses, they were earning the money, and then I weeded out the ones that I really didn't like. You, there, sample, when you're going to food, it's the margins are, very, especially key cards, the margins are very, very small. You need to have a lot of traffic and then yeah pag minap mas madaling may mapanis mas madaling uh, magnako yung employee th things like that and I, I saw it that the headache there uh, wasn't as sulit compared to what you could possibly get also but I, I enjoyed it I knew it was a season in my life so it started to it started to earn the money there I put I placed in mutual funds okay. so uh, as I placed it in mutual funds a lot of people who've been watching know this already I was watching my mutual funds every day so I am watching my mutual funds every day. Why not try the stock market? Then you know, uh, that's how you got into stocks. That's how I got into stocks. And that time it was 2008. There was a crash. Like what's happening right now? Oh, right now the market has dropped massively today, or massively over the past few days. Ganun din 2008. The market dropped a lot at that time. So it sort of accelerated. Uh, I guess it fast tracked my my road to. Uh, quitting my job because I was able to find a lot of stocks at very very cheap prices at that time and then so that's that was the investment and the business part of, of me which I still do up to this day and then while I was doing it you're asking how did I how did I get invited for talks uh, 2007 uh, my supervisors were asking Marvin five years in the office so they would see me, I would literally, when they would go to Starbucks, I would just go in the Nescafe in the pantry, get the free coffee, and then eat my baon. Oh, to -to, to -to. Uh, and they would be shocked enough, why do I have more money than them? So I would teach them. And then people started, every lunchtime, everyone would invite me, na na sila. And then I was teaching everyone there, which was weird, because if you're my office mate, you're my boss, you wouldn't tell me your salary. Yeah. But they were telling me. Yeah. So while but while I was doing that, I was I was enjoying. I was enjoying. So I go, it's not just about being financially free, but it's about bringing more people along for the ride. So that's what happened. Then when I quit my job, a lot of the first people that I was meeting, uh, they said, "Can you do this in front of a lot of people?" Eh, oh yeah. you know, this one, this is not. This wasn't me uh, ten years ago. Oh, the problem ko before, na yung magsalita eh. Then problem ko. <laughs> so, so, but because I wanted it, that's why in the previous videos I asked you about passion because I, I really was so passionate about it. Eh. I didn't know how to make a PowerPoint, I never attended any trained trainers or anything, but I just genuinely wanted to share my ideas. Once I started to do that, those talks, uh, there were people, Marvin, come to Abra, come to Korea, do this. 
sabi ko, I can't go to all of those places. And then that's where I started writing books. So sabi ko, the books will multiply me that if I can go to that area, people can just get it from national bookstore. And then that's, yeah. And then I realized, uh, if I make a website, people can read my thoughts there for those who can't order the books also. Then, yun, I, if there's one thing that's very, very important there, I did not plan this 2005, 2006. If you ask me what would I, I wanted to do when I started out, sabi ko, my goal before was just to franchise a KFC, uh, KFC branch and put it in an SM mall. Because I realized ko, the, the KFC is not a franchise here. But, but yun, uh, I, I did not plan to invest, I did not plan to even make a, make a vlog, I didn't know. But what I do know about the vlogs or the videos is, uh, it's something that social media right now, digi digital right now, is where everyone is. Especially uh, if people are not going out based on what's going on right now, there will be more people consuming content online. And I believe in it so much that if you want to influence not just the next generation, but this generation, it's through this. So it's me uh, giving a piece of myself that so that, this is, my, this is my biggest why also, so that if Filipinos get richer 30, 40 years from now, I could tell people who are younger than me that I was part of it. I was right smack in the middle of when those things happened. Yun. Very inspiring. And before you became a true inspiration to other people, <laughs> did you actually have savings okay. in your bank account okay. before you made the job? Ah, and how did you save on from I, your that's, salary? Uh, that's a very, very good question. No? Uh, I think a lot. I'm, I'm really a, a, I'm really a saver. Before I even invested, before I even started things, I would save. Mm -hmm. uh, even when my, my entry level salary before was I think sixteen thousand five hundred. But, but I made sure, sabi ko, I will save. I think one thousand five hundred pesos a month from this, and net net of that is around thirteen thousand yata twelve thousand. Then I. Uh, I, I made sure oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm very very good at, at budgeting. I made sure that 2,000 pesos I would pagkakasya ko doon per two weeks yung allowance ko. That's 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 no that's hard. So that that meant also that if I had a neighbor na who will leave 6 a.m. sa sabay ako sa kanya para hindi na ako gagastos. That meant also that kung kailangan ko magbawon ng bawon ako, I never wanted to go above and beyond that. Kasi there were other things that I I needed also to spend on also. Pero here's here's what's interesting. Uh, people always place a large. I, I I believe in saving. Savings is so important. But here's here's the thing. If you save one five, it won't make you rich. And people always talk about uh, save money for a rainy day. But this is what I believe also. It's not just about how much you save, how how you build cash flow. So what I did at that time when I was starting out was I had a lot of mas social lang yun eh. That yung time natin, feeling ko hindi alam ng mga gents ito. We call it racket eh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ngayon it's it's more social. It's side hustle na siya. Hustle. Yeah. Hustling now is parang social eh. Yeah. So I would do a lot of that. I would do a lot of that. I would literally work 16 hours a day, eight. 8 to 5, I'd work on my job. Then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'd work on my dreams naman. Pero here's the thing. Whatever I earned from that, 70% of it I did not spend. I saved all of that. So I literally saved everything that I was getting. Kasi my mentality there was, uh, sa trabaho, buhay na ako dun eh. So anything that I get extra is really extra. It's to fund whatever I want to do. So if you're telling me how, if I save money, Yes, I did, but I did not focus, I did not rely on saving. I relied on building cash, and that's what I used to save, and that's what I also used to invest. You're, you're an employee, and then but you want to put up your own business, okay. but you don't know where to start. Mm. Okay, And you really rely on your salary okay. for it. How do you suggest them to actually start the business? Do you suggest that they let go of their job? Mm. You know, I am a firm believer of the internet. Because of the internet, you can do so many things that people 30, 40 years ago could not do uh, to uh, build wealth. So what I'll do, I won't quit my job. I, I won't. That's, uh, for me, that's super risky because you're, you're removing cash flow and then you're starting something that has no track record yet of any shot or any semblance of making money. So what what I always tell people is I ask this question to you if you don't have any capital in the previous video. Ako naman, if I don't have any capital, 
my my sweat equity uh babawing ko sa hard babawing ko sa hard work i would work 8 to 5 and be faithful with my job kasi ano eh, do not kill the goose that lays the golden egg if you're employed it's your employment that's giving you the golden egg eh. it's what's giving you cash flow be good at that kasi that's where your money is pero after that I'll find ways on how you can make money and I said that because of the internet it's easier because there's so many things you can do eh. uh, you can sell stuff Shopee, Lazada, sell stuff via Instagram, sell stuff via Facebook or if you're an accountant you could outsource your accounting sure skills uh, online also mm -hmm. but the main thing that I always tell people is this uh, if you do not know what business to start never start a business you always start based on your skill because it's your skill that will make you money uh, it's always about it's always about how good you are. Here, here's what people need to know. Baltasar, uh, founder. Uh, people won't buy Baltasar because you work hard. People will always buy your product or service because of the amount of value that you give them. And your value is predicated on the skills that, that you have as well. So, yun, uh, you always start a business based on your skill and see if that skill has a market. See how much value you can give into that market and then start it slowly. If it's, I give this example all the time, cupcakes. It's cupcakes. Don't uh, buy so, don't bake so much and put put up a uh, a branch in the mall because that's millions. Start an Instagram post or give give out the cupcakes for free first to your friends. If hindi na sila humingi, ibig sabihin your cupcakes are bad. Kasi libre na hindi pa sila humingi, di ba? That's a, that's the first uh, that's the first feedback mechanism you could ever give it. But if you give them, then suddenly on Christmas they remember, hmm. Si Marvin, ang galing mag-bake ng cupcake ah. Why don't I give that as a gift? And that's that's when it becomes a business. You always start small. Like, I, think, I guess the biggest problem of a lot of people is nagpamadali sila. They all, may, may, may certain sort na parang glamoroso na like, example, you quit your job. Tapos, uh, oh, ba't ka nag-resign sa trabaho mo? Kasi I have a business na yun. <laughs> pero, pero what people don't know, when you start a business, uh, it's even harder than being an employee. People always think that business is the end goal, but it's not. It's a uh, it's it's lot of headache. It's pag employee ka, as long as you meet your deliverables, you're okay. But if you're an employer, you're a business person. Tao mo muna, sila muna si sweldo bago bago ka. And there's so much complications attached to that. So start small. Uh, do it in parallel. Know your what season you are in. Save a lot of money. As in a lot of money. Tapos when that business has the potential, has a track record of replacing your salary. That's when you quit. Pag, uh, this, is, this is my joke uh, when I quit my job. Pag sa gabal ng trabaho mo sa negosyo mo, that's when you quit. Mm. Yun. That's good. Very inspiring. Where is anyone, Marvin? Mm. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Okay. Do you still see yourself doing what you're doing now? How else can you change it up a bit? In a uh, bit? Honest. Honest answer, no. That's a very good question. A lot of people have been asking me that. Uh, I don't know. Eh. This is what I, I love to do. Eh. Yeah. That's why when people ask me, what do you want to do 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now? It may sound bad, but I'm, 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 con I'm, I'm, con I'm content already. Because uh, for me, I talk a lot about money and investing, but money is not my great motivator. Eh. I don't plan to buy a yacht. I don't plan to, parang I don't plan to buy this. Uh, these things for me to be happy. That's why I keep telling people, you have to love what you do because if you love what you do, you don't need to buy stuff to make you happy. Yeah. And eh, parang everything else parang becomes a uh, bonus. Parang. If you would ask me any boost metric, ko, basta pag na grocery ako, I get to get what I want. If I eat, if I, eat uh, I look at the left side, not the right side. Okay na ako dun, I can drink uh, coffee every day. I love, I love drinking coffee as long as I can drink two to three cups every, every day wherever I want. I'm, I'm fine with that already, yeah. and the feeling that you, when I wake up, I'm not dragging myself to wake up, and that's yeah, that's, that's it. That's super, I know <laughs> so, that's a big deal. Because even the simple things in life, mm. you, you know, that's really what makes you happy. And I agree, money is not the end goal. It should be a tool to help you achieve your dreams mm. and your goals. And I, I just like to share this also. Uh, for me, I'm I'm even doing this YouTube uh, channel. Uh, I. I miss out on doing other things and other businesses because I I would make this. Uh, this is what makes me happy, eh? and I keep telling people this. I'd rather at the end of my life, if I have a chance to get one billion pesos versus a hundred million, I'll pick a hundred million and lose the chance to get that other nine hundred million doing something that I love. I don't want to get the billion, but uh, 
but not enjoying life. Pero 100 million still a lot of, 100 million still a lot of money, friend. Kasi people take that out of context naman. You're doing what you love, pero di ka kumakain. You also have to take care of your needs first. Yes, so, right. take care of your needs, but it has to come to a point that you're not just pursuing money. Right, right. But how do you juggle everything that you're doing now with your family life? Okay, yeah. good question. No uh, true answer. I'm bad at time management. I'm, really, I'm, 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 really, I'm not. I'm not so good. Pero I have a priority system. For me, uh, my life is everything. Toto, what uh, ano I said, pag di ka guapo, kailangan mo pagmahal ka. So wala, wala akong choice. And my wife, when I quit my job, I was, we were engaged at that time. Sabi ko, ano ne? Uh, I see myself just pursuing investing and doing other things that I like. Sabi, sabi ko, I, I want to quit. And you know what she told me? Break na tayo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she said this, whatever you do, I'll support you. So I got down on my knees and I cried. No, I didn't oh. I didn't, I didn't cry. But yun, uh, she was supporting me from, from the start, from, from the very, very start. So uh, if there's anything that I'll put in terms of priority, it will always be my wife. Kasi ginagawa ko nito para din. So, so I feel so if it wasn't for her, I would I'd probably be doing other things. Okay. Yeah. Any tips for us business owners on how to you know, overcome the first few challenges? Okay. Like, like the first three years of having okay. a business. But you're very What's good. Your for Guys, me? Guys, are um, there's sobrang sobrang <laughs> getting nila sobra, sobra. Oh, sobra. Yeah, but we need tips also. For me, uh, starting small. Uh, it's not bad to have large goals, it's not bad to have metrics, it's not bad to dream and aim very, very high. But, even, but uh, you, have, you don't have to rush it. You always have to love the process of, of doing it. That, uh, for example, a lot of people want to short, not, nothing wrong naman with, have, with wanting to do it faster, but for example, I, I have a food cart, I want to scale this up. Instead of just growing it organically, they take a loan, they, they take five, six, seven. Tapos the four uh, carts are not doing so well. Whereas, this is what I believe it. You, when you grow organically in business, it's money, skill, experience. If all you have is money and no experience, yung money mawala eh. But if you have the money and the skill and the experience, it will grow proportional, proportionally with whatever you're, with whatever you're doing. And, and kasi if you do it also slowly, for example, what you're doing, People really, if people really like what you're doing, or, or the products that you have, the shoes that you have, on year number three or year number two, kailangan nila ulit, babalik sila sayo. And then you will have new customers, but then it will be a snowball effect already of, of earnings. Number two, uh, we talked about savings, yun, yun din. I really like to have a very, very large runway. I really want to have a lot of savings. A lot of people say, sayang, kasi tulog yung pera. But like, right now, uh, we don't know what's gonna happen to the economy, but ano, uh, I'm not worried because mm -hmm. preparation time is never wasted time. I would always prepare that thinking that the market has been good for 12 years, eh? that recessions will happen, bad times will happen. So ganun din ako. On, bad, on good times, I prepare so that on bad times, that's when I'll spend a lot because no one wants to spend during bad times. Eh? So you will get a lot of uh, good deals in business that you can get or even purchases that you'd like to make also. So things like, things like that. And Lastly, uh, uh, give as much value. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you know him. So he also does YouTube videos. His name's Gary B. He said, uh, 51, 49. Give 51, take 49. So I would, during then, when I heard that, I'm, oh, that's what I do. Uh, I would always give more than what, I, what I've ever paid for. So in, in business, you, oh, you overcompensate for people that ma are guilty. Na sila, parang, this is such a good deal. Na, parang, I have to pay. I have to pay for this. And that's what I do. Lang. That's all. Thanks for okay, giving. Okay, Minsan lang may interview. For giving us so much information and insight, and for us tapping your brain. No, minsan lang may interview ng sobrang yam. Tapos model ka, guys. Model founder. Yeah. Baltas our shoes. Baltas our shoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I hope you guys got a lot from this. Naman, medyo na pressure ako. Don't get niya magtanong. I hope this really helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye, everyone.